ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ್ಮ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧುವೇವ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂ ಹೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಮಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಶ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸಂಭೀಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ 
लब्धा सुदुर्लभम बहुसंभवान्ते मनुष्यमर्थदमनित्वमी हो धीर तूर्ण जतीत न पतीत अनुमृत्यु जाव निश्रिय साय खलु विषय सर्वत सा लब्धा सुदुर्लभम लब्धा सुदुर्लभम इदम बहुसंभवान्ते मनुष्यमर्थदमनित्वमी हो धीर तूर्ण जतीत न अनुमृत्यु जाव निश्रिय साय विषय खुलु सर्वत सा गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित को भाग्यवान जीव गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाए भक्ति लता बीज गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित को भाग्यवान जीव गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाए भक्ति लता बीज इन कोर्स ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग दिस इन्फिनिटी वर्ल्ड इन कोर्स ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग दिस इन्फिनिटी वर्ल्ड अप एंड डाउन समटाइम यू बिकम किंग मे बी मे बी प्रीवियसली सम लाइफ यू वॉज किंग यू आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ किंग समाइम वी कैन बिकम बेगर Sometime we become king. Sometime we become, you know, beast and birds. This way, in course of traveling this infinity world, only this time we get this human body. Only this life we get human body. From Padma Puran, there is one slope we know. जलजान अवलक्षा स्थावरा विंशलक्षति कृमयु रुग्दशंख का पक्षी नाम दशलक्षक त्रिंशत्क्षा पशव चतुर्लक्षा मानव अकॉर्डिंग टू कैलकुलेशन अकॉर्डिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस कैलकुलेशन वी कैन सी दैट एटी फोर डिफरेंट स्पीसीज ऑफ लाइफ वी आर ट्रावलिंग Eighty four, eighty four lakhs, eighty four lakhs different kind of species we are travelling through. Sometimes we are taking bird in the form of bird, beast. Sometimes in the form of bird. Sometimes human being. Human being all not same. You can take bird as a tribal man in Africa. who can say what was my previous life who i was who can say this way continuously jivatma traveling no solution that day i was speaking that that the ghost that the ghost going to speak you can remember south india madurai that the daughter of that king ghost attack ghost overpower jadava acharya was a big acharya of mayavadi he was there and also from brahman family but still when the king wanted to give the because the ghost speaking if you give me water was of some vaishnavas i mean pure brahman vaishnavas i can go away no problem but the king suggested i can give the water was of this brahman i mean jadava acharya who so no i cannot take he is actually fallen soul previous life he was a snack previous life he was a snack just just he took one uchishta prasadam of one vaishnav because maybe vaishnav took prasadam and threw the plate as i told you yesterday you can remember maybe the snack somehow leak or something can be there that's why he took this brahman birth i mean human birth 
this why he took brahman in mean, this human birth actually is not possible i cannot take if you give the water was of their small boy i mean this uh, small boy i mean this lakshman desik Laksh lakshman desik is a boyhood name of of ramanuja charya so you see you you try to feel this matter he was just snack previous life just snack and now to human birth so i am not speaking any story i am not speaking any story try to realize so this way life after life we are traveling and traveling human being also not same four lakh species of human being not one not one type when you are very lucky then you can take the form of a human being form of a human being. because body is not man body is not you know atma is there so i can say it. you can take the form of a human being maybe but still there is less possibility but still there is less possibility that you can do hari bhajan because who knows where you took birth even in india those are taking birth you show me how many people doing bhajan even in india they are lucky they took birth oh, who is doing bhajan even even in india those who are taking brahman bath birth according to their estimation they are only showing the scarlet thread nothing zero they are more inferior than shudra so hari bhajan is really real i cannot cheat you hari bhajan is really real but it is possible every possibility is there that we can do hari bhajan try to feel lonely fast first of all you try to feel lonely if you can feel lonely helpless then then and only then you can try to get one support otherwise you can cry in front of me but you are not taking any action what i can speak only you are here only you are hearing hari katha practically you are not going to realize only you are hearing hari katha only you are hearing hari katha but you are not going to realize because realization is the most important thing because realization is the most important without realization that day i was that day i was explaining one gita shloka from gita you can find one shloka there there bhakti mr thakur going to write one commentary on this shloka bhakti mr thakur want to shreyano devbrahmaya jagyad gyan yogyam param tapah sarvan karman khilam partho gyane parishamapate this shloka in this shloka in this shloka bhagwan sri krishna speaking to arjun in this shloka bhakti mun thakur ai in this shloka bhagwan sri krishna speaking to arjun arjun whatever you do whatever i am not going to speak what what you are doing but anything you are doing honestly or dishonestly but that's up to you but finally you are going to get some feeling of the feeling or not whatever you are doing you are going to give get some feeling out of that and that feeling can give you some knowledge ultimately anything what i am doing ultimately going to be deposited inside your heart as experience or knowledge 
according to that we are going to guide ourselves our future plan because pe previous life experience bhagwan sri krishna is speaking you see we are in the ocean of this three modes of nature we are in the ocean of maya there's all matter even in dream you cannot realize even in deep you cannot feel that you can live without matter whatever hari katha you hear whatever hari katha you hear finally you cannot realize you cannot realize you could realize but you cannot realize that matter is nothing we have nothing to do with this matter matter and atma totally anti thing anti totally anti to each other one is matter another is anti matter one is matter another is anti matter anti matter means just opposite nature of matter scientists all those scientists they also agree beyond this material limit there is some anti matter there there is some anti matter but they cannot establish because they have not they have they need uh, you know they cannot establish this point we need profound knowledge we need profound knowledge with our realization realization means by the keep up guru krishna only and only you can realize i mean out of countless jivatma i mean human beings also you can see out of them only one or two or maybe who can realize this point that matter and atma just opposite to each other nothing to do but we cannot do away with matter cannot do away it's a must because we feel oneness who is friend to whom who is father whom i can say he is my father whom i can say he is my mother whom i can say no relationship permanent na temporary maybe you marry some daughter and at the age of 32 you marry and you are going to leave your body at the age of 72 so 32 72 so 72 minus 32 72 minus 32 during that period you are going to claim he is my wife this is maya devi want to make full of you only during that period 72 minus 32 during that period you are going to claim this is my wife my this my that even one scientist could realize the relativity but i cannot realize this is my bhajan one scientist who took birth outside india he could realize the relativity how practical feeling because he was very much interested to read gita and to read gita to realize gita he learned sanskrit to go deep into the philosophy that was the background for why you could, he could realize this theory of relativity but you cannot realize you know if i ask you you are going to die yes i can die but that is not that is not your direct realization that is not your direct realization if i ask you you are going to die yes i am going to die so i mean that is not your direct realization if it is your direct realization i can put challenge in front of bhagavad gita bhagavad ji that you can live all useless thing the moment you can realize very shortly you are going to leave your body you can throw everything like i, I already told one man given death sentence i already told one man already given death sentence just on 10th november morning time 6 o'clock he can be given death it will be he is going to die then if you ask that man 
what do you fancy? What do you fancy? What do you can say? I can uh, take parmanna or I can take kachuri, puri, what you can say? Or meat or fish, what you can say? He can ask anything? Not possible. Because that time he is going to realize practically. But you are not in a position to realize practically. You have no direct experience about death. You have no direct experience about death. That's why you are going to lead your life fancifully. So, it's very important thing. Life, life after life, we are taking one by another birth, one by another birth. And rare birth, the human being, and human being means so four lakh species of human being, where I can be. Even those who are going to claim that we are Vaishnava with Tilak, Mala, everything, you search. You search practically. They can touch Nishingadev, they can touch Salagram, and they can say, we, we want to get Bhagavan, lotus feet of Bhagavan. They can say, they can say solemnly that we need Bhagavan, I don't need nothing. So, first of all, it is your duty to realize you are alone in this universe, in the infinite universe. Actually, nobody your friend, nobody your father, nobody mother. First of all, try to realize. After that, we can, when you can depend upon pure Guru Vaishnava, then you can realize gradually that you are not alone, Guru Vaishnava, Prabhupada, there. All Bhagavan is there. But now you'll have to feel. For the time being, you have to feel that you are lonely, you are helpless, like Gajendra. Like I told the case of Gajendra, Gajendra was feeling very much upset. Gajendra wanted to depend upon wife. Gajendra means elephant. I am speaking about Bhagavatam elephant. He was feeling very much upset. He thought my wife can rescue me from this water, I mean this. Or ch my children, they all can together, jointly they can help me. But when he was feeling helpless, there no support there. That is a very vital point. Gajendra, when he could realize, I am totally helpless. No father in this infinity world can help me now. I am going to die. Then suddenly, he remembered. Gajendra remember because Gajendra was in Dodumna Raja. He was a king previous life. Gajendra was a king in Dodumna Raja, very powerful Raja. He was doing bhajan in, uh, you know, in in a cave in a hill. I mean, Parvat mountain there. He could remember. Immediately, because the memory of Hari Bhajan can never go in vain. Try to remember. All your previous memory you can lose. Suppose your father, mother, your building, all, all your relationship, you can, next life you can forget. You cannot remember. Because death, because death is nothing but because death is nothing but to forget everything, to cut relationship with your past. Past, 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 any all past, you can cut your connection automatically. That is called death. Even you are going to forget your own body that you had previous life. This is called death. Actually, there is nothing, no word. There is no word useful as death. Because no death is there. Who is death? Only you are going to change your body. There is no question of death. Because Atma is never going to die. Atma is not going to die. So what is, where from the question of death coming? So, the definition of death is given by Bhagavan in Bhagavatam. Mityor Atyantik Vrishyati. Mithyur Atyantik Vishwati. You forget all your past. You cut your connection with the past. That is called death. Even you can remember, you cannot remember what, you, what was your previous body, previous father, mother, 
friend or you can forget. This way, the day you can realize, this way by hearing Harikatha gradually, this way, in course of your hearing Harikatha gradually, the day you can realize there is no question of any death in my life, that is called actually drinking of Amrita out of Harikatha. If you are going to drink Amrita, then all countless problems of your countless life all solved. Not that one problem you will have to solve now. No, all problems solved. The life that the you know, this is a fact. The day you can drink Amrita out of Harikatha. Then you can realize that there is no question of anything. Otherwise, some sort of fear, some sort of anxiety can follow you all the time and can make you restless. Automatically, and follow and make you restless. You can feel restless. Big problem. So first, it is my request to you, you find solution. So it is my request, first of all, you try to realize practically. Not uh, imagination. Try to realize practically that you are going to die and just after some time and you have no support where to go, how to go, who can... You are completely alone. Father cannot support... Father cannot support son. Son cannot support father. Mother cannot support father. Nobody can support. Only we are supported by the Supreme Lord. That you, we cannot realize. Hundred, hundred percent. Your bank money cannot give you security. Your manpower cannot give you security. Your material knowledge cannot see. Nothing, no security. This is not life insurance. You can think it is life insurance. But it is no insurance. It is not life. So, first of all, you will have to realize that you are alone. First of all, if you feel alone, you can start crying, I am helpless. Then and only then you can take shelter of Guru Vishnu, not before that. And when you can take shelter of Guru Vishnu, you can easily realize all around Guru Vishnu, Bhagavan, always there to protect me. Otherwise, your, lo otherwise your feeling of loneliness can guide you to go to market to take the association of common people, material people, which is strictly prohibited. You can feel loneliness. This kind of loneliness, you know, you can feel this way. So, Popa speaking, in course of traveling through this material world, infinity, for infinity of reward, somehow we can get the scope to meet with pure Guru Vishnu. Or even we meet, we cannot realize. That can also so happen. So when in Chaitanya Chaitamiti it is written, Brahmanda Bhumiti Kuna Bhagavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadipai Bhakti Lata Bij, then I can uh, take it as granted that this is called actual meeting of Guru Vishnu. Because without actual meeting, Without meeting with Guru Vishnu practically, how I can get Bhakti Lata Bij? So I can take it as Gandhi, it is uh, perfect. This way, when I meet with some Guru Vishnu, they can give me some Bhakti Lata Bij. Then and only then, by taking shelter unto lotus feet of pure Guru Vishnu, I can cross over this material ocean and can reach that. Not before that. And I was speaking about this Bhakti Lata Beach. But I think first of all you try to realize your relativity. You are, you are already put into this relative world. First of all you have to re realize this point. If you can realize that you are in, in this, uh, you know, in this relative world, then you can, then you can Take action. But you cannot, if you cannot realize that 
this all unstable, all relative, if you cannot realize, then you cannot take any action. You can think, you can think comfortable. So long as you are not going to realize this point, you can feel I am comfortable, okay. So much money in bank, you say, I am enjoying my life, okay. But you cannot realize. So theory of relativity, one or two words I can speak. If you, have gone, if you have already gone through physics, that is very good for you to realize. Suppose true, suppose two superfast ten running together. Suppose two superfast train running together. And one track this, another track this, side by side. And both of them running with 120 kilometers per hour. Try to realize. It's plain mathematics, very easy. One track is this, another track is this. They're both going with the same velocity of 120 kilometers per hour. Then for the reference frame, you can discover that standstill. For this reference frame, don't understand. Suppose I cut one reference frame. For that reference frame, I can discover from one train, if I look to the other train, I can find that both the train is static. Static, man, not moving. Same velocity. So you can say same velocity mean you can find from this train that this train is static, not moving. But actually not that. It is a theory of the relativity that both of the train running 100 20 kilometers per hour with this velocity. But still, the passenger of the train feeling that train is static, not moving, whereas 120. So 120 minus 120 is zero velocity you can discover. 120 kilometers per speed one velocity of 110 with respect to the other is zero. Because 120, 120. So 120 minus 120 kilometers, 120 and 120, if you minus, then zero. So you can find static, but actually not that. These are relative. Similarly, relative word. And another point, if these two tens, suppose both both the train running just opposite to each other. Suppose one train running this way, another train running this way. Suppose. In that case, you can find like wind train gone. Suppose this train going running this direction, another train running this direction. And you are watching from, uh, you are a passenger, you can discover that the like wind, the train, can't chop. But because then the relative velocity of each train with respect to the other is 120 plus 120, 240 kilometers per hour. 240 kilometers per hour. This is called theory of relative, but you cannot understand. So the reference frame in which you are put into this reference frame in which you are put into by your karma fall, you are bound to feel that you are comfortable, you are nice, no problem, I am okay. But those who are really tattabhi, they never think that this is practical. This is not practical. I was speaking I was just speaking, maybe 20 minutes before, about one sloka from Gita. I was speaking, but detail discussion not done. Sreyano Durbamaya Jagyad Gyano Jagyam Parantapaha. Why? Sarvan Karman Kilam Partho Gyani Parisamapati. Sarvan Karman Kilam Karmana Kilam Partho Gyani Parisamapati. Partho Arjun. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun. A partho here, Arjun. It is more practical to 
do fine yoga, fine, fine. Fine yoga you don't understand. Suppose mentally I am going to worship Bhagavan, but at close, of course at present you have no right, you cannot do. Bhagavan speaking, whatever yagya, whatever thing you are doing, some material objects are oriented, suppose that day previous, previous, previous Janmashtami. This Janmashtami, previous Janmashtami, I was doing Jagya here. I was doing Jagya, no? you have seen picture. So that Jagya, I used to apply ghee, fruits, leaf, flower, or everything. So many things you can see all around, I am doing Jagya. Because it is there in scripture, I will have to do Jagya. But after doing Jagya, I am doing so many Jagya, okay. But what, but what is the net outcome of that Jagya? Follow on. I am spending so many money. You all give me some money, this, that. We buy so many things, all utensils, so many things we need. Big amount of expenses done. Now, now my question is that, what is the net outcome of the Jagya? You are going to uh, utilize these fruits and flower, ghee, fire, so many things. But what is the net outcome? If this kind of Jagya become a material Jagya, no, no outcome. Outcome means spiritual realization, that is the outcome. What I mean to say outcome, what is the fine, what is the fine gain? What is the fine outcome you are supposed to do? You are not crazy. Why you are going this do, do this jagya? Who told you? Like crazy you are spending some. So surely there is some fine motive. Externally you cannot understand. What is that fine motive? You will have to find out. That you will have to find out that why I am doing Jagya and what is the net outcome? What I am going to gain out of that? Only those who are totally crazy, totally mad, they are not going to understand. You are coming from long distance. Come on, you are spending lakhs of rupees to come even. I cannot even dream, can think. You are going to pay 80,000 plane fare, this, that. You are paying. Even in imagine, I cannot imagine. So you are doing it. But you, you cannot realize the reason for why you are coming. There, there must be some reason. You are driven by some fine judgment that you cannot realize. Inside your heart, somehow you are going to feel some, you are to go to India. To meet with some sadhu here. Why? Why? Some inspiration must be there. Because directly or indirectly, without any inspiration of Bhagavan, nobody can do anything. Directly or indirectly. Indirectly means through Maya. And directly means by Bhagavan. Like the, like Durjodhan already told, na? Durjodhan told. Before leaving this body, Durjodhan was bound to speak to, before leaving this body, before leaving this body, Durjodhan was bound to speak this truth. But I know what is dharma, I know what is adharma. I know both. This is dharma and this is adharma. But I cannot stop, I cannot stop doing adharma. I know, I know the difference between dharma and adharma. But anyway, I cannot stop doing adharma. I am bound to do. I don't know why. Because it is according to karma fall. If your karma fall is bad, then you are guided by Maya. Guided by Maya means indirectly by Bhagavan. Maya where from coming? But Bhagavan, indirectly you are guided. So Durjodhan was bound to speak this valuable thing. Though he is wicked. Number one wicked. But still, before leaving body, he was bound to speak this Absolute truth. What is that? What is that? Somehow he was bound to speak this. I know Dharma. Absolute truth in the sense, not Tattva. I want to say, 
at least Duryodhan could realize that I am bound to do adharma. He is going to confess. It is not. It is not directly. It is not directly related with absolute truth. But still, he is going to speak, supporting that absolute truth. Hello, I cannot say Duryodhan can speak absolute truth. What I mean to say, what he is speaking is at least going to support that absolute truth. It's right. That's why I say. So Duryodhan going to speak. Janami dharmam nocha me parbriti. Janami dharmam nocha me parbriti. Janami adharmam nocha me nibriti. Taya rishi kesa hidi sthiti na yatha nijuktos me tatha karom. I know what is dharma, but I am not feeling any test, inspiration to do it. Janami adharmam. I know it is adharma. Is not good. But still, I am bound to do. I don't know why, because you are sitting inside heart as Paramatma, according to my karma fall and dirty uh, sanskar. I am driven by you. Bhagwan, not directly speaking, you do. Hello, this way you are doing. <coughs> but what about Pitama Vishwa? Pitama Vishwa, he has taken resolution. <coughs> to follow brahmacharya but when gurudev i mean so called guru parshuram going to speak you will have to marry his two daughters he told you know it very well i took resolution i cannot touch any woman but how i can marry finally he is going to put pressure now you will have to do Are you, what you are guru you should think about my good and bad and you have no idea about what is good and bad just that day i was speaking to some idiot man one daughter is one daughter i mean his daughter one man staying there she was inspired she was inspired by one famous actually famous in the sense due to maya Due to Maya, I am going to speak this. He is not at all famous. He has no position. He has no nothing. I say zero. But according to Maya, according to the calculation of Maya, is a very important achar. See, meet with, see, meet with him. Used to meet with him. He is going to give inspiration to that daughter that you can uh, you can uh, go for. You know, uh, for some, uh, uh, what you say, uh, <coughs> stage performance. I mean, art. You know, those were advertisement, modeling. You can go. You can sign there, and that girl going to join there. Finally, she is going to get some prize. And how dare she is going to speak in front of me? I mean, father speaking. She is sitting. That my daughter got prize from. I say you are idiot number one. You are rascal number one. In modeling company, in film industry, there is no character, nothing. How you send your daughter there? Contamination all. How you tell? And you are going to express proud. And that Acharya you going to give inspiration to that daughter that you can go there. You should. You should. You should meet. You should, you know. You should express, you know, your regret for that. You are speaking in front of me. I am less interested to hear anything. The samachar is giving inspiration, so you are going to join one modeling company and going to get some prize. Useless. I make. I can make urine on it. Idiot. Foolish number one. So, what I mean to say, one acharya. He don't know how to guide a small girl. He don't know how I can guard the how I can guide the jivatma so that she can go up to the level of realization at least. This is our guidance. This is our acharya sip. I can arrange your marriage with one foreign lady. Very good. You can get married. So you take shelter. This kind of business. Pope are going to spit on it. Many times, Pope told, "I can speak on next days, no time." 
So this way you see, Pitama Vishwa was very angry. Pitama Vishwa was saying, Guru Ropi Avalutapsa Karja Karjo Majanato Utpata Patipanasya Parityaga Vidyate. Such a guru who has no common sense about what to do, what not to do, or totally material, that guru should be discarded, thrown away. What utility of that guru? What for we are going to accept guru? Why you are coming to me? You cannot realize why, why you are coming to me? To joke with me? If you are not going to accept what I am speaking, what I am showing you? So this way we have to realize the reason. Then all problem can be solved. What for you come? To bhajan? How I can give answer to you? You know yourself, you think, you ask yourself, what for you come? To do bhajan? That is the solution. That is the solution, na? I can discuss on this issue tomorrow also. Today time cannot permit, so time is going like wind. So, this way, we see our whole life, we can learn something. You don't know what I learned from you. I cannot speak to you. You don't know what I learned from you. You don't know what I learned from you. I learned from you all. I am not guru. I, you are all my guru. I learned from you all. But you have no idea about that. Even that man coming from Austria, I am learning something from him. I see, look at them, learn something. This is my learning. This way I try to give nourishment to my realization. I already told the day I can, the day my realization can go and go up and touch the lotus feet of Nithyananda Balaram, that is my actual realization. Now your realization is broken realization, scattered realization. You realize something, you realize something, you go there, realize something. But that realization is not realization. What is your complete realization? I can explain about the sloka, I know, Sreyana Dabya Mad Gita, because I have no time. Tomorrow I can explain. And uh, the sloka I started with, a very important sloka also. So, when Jadu Maharaj asking to that Brahman, how it is possible for you? How it is possible for you to realize, to go up to that realization, whereas you have all your ability, all your body is very nice, good looking, you are, you are you, how you are going to avoid all karma, krodha, everything, all different kind of attractive things, all is, all attractive things all around. How you avoid, how you lead, Life just like a, a small child, you are passing urine, passing stool, somebody going to change your clothes, somebody giving, giving something, otherwise you are li uh, lying without asking anything. What is the reason? How you are leading? That is the main question. Whereas the whole world burning, whole world burning, why? Because they have some personal interest. Actually, I have no fighting with you. What kind of fighting can be there with you? I have no fighting, but there can be fighting. Fighting or self-interest. No question of fighting. But why you become my enemy and why I going to stop you doing this, this way, fighting? Girl? Because due to this self-interest, all people, they are self-centered. All Jivatma, they are all self-centered. They have some personal center point. That personal center point cannot coincide with me. So there is some intersect. When I am successful to I am when I am successful to take my center point up to that common center point of in infinity world, then I am successful. I mean, the common, the common point I am fostering, the common point what I am fostering for a long time, if it is going to coincide with the uh, center point of Bhagavan, then I am satisfied. So I can discuss, you can remember tomorrow about that sloka, Bhakti Muttagavan to speak, very important thing. 
Vishwanath Chakoti Bhat leaves that. So matter is not solution. Matter is not solution. I can discuss tomorrow. The day you can leave all matter. <coughs> the day you can leave all attachment. That is your golden opportunity. The day you can discover that your heart is developing data, that detachment. I can speak about that. Uh, Tridandi Sanyas from Bhagavatam tomorrow. So this way you see the day you can realize that my Atma has no relationship, no connection with any matter. Yeah. Matter means man, woman, that is also matter, body. You have relations with, not with Atma, body. So you can relate connection with somebody according to body. <coughs> but in Upanishad, it is written, I can discuss tomorrow, Atma ba are drashtabya shatabya nididha shitabya. Atma ba are, Atma ba are drashtabya shatabya. Mother is going to love that, love the baby because Atma is there. But when Atma gone, you will throw. I can discuss tomorrow, not at a time. So, in seventh canto, Srimad Bhagavad Mahapran, you can find Prahlad Maharaj speaking. Prahlad Maharaj speaking that when somebody going to leave all attachment, totally clean, then he can climb, he can climb just like your platform, I mean Chinmay platform, transcendental platform. Transcendental platform you can reach. The day you can, you know, leave all, jarhi eva, jarhi eva manavaha tayanti kamana manasa sthitano, jarhi eva, jarhi eva the moment, you can realize that actually your Atma has no connection, no connection, nothing with this material world. Only your eternal connection with Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava. He can realize after. So, Palladma is speaking, Jarhi eva manavaha tayanti kamano manasya sthitano, tarhi eva bhagavat taya kalpate. The moment he realized, my Atma has no relationship with the material world. The moment, the moment realize, he can climb that platform, the platform in which you are situated. I mean translated. Tarhi eva bhagavat taya kalpati. I can discuss day by day all these matters. Now, Janeshu Dajjamaneshu Kamo Lobho Dabagnina Na Tapase Agnina Mukto Gangamba Shastha Iva Deepaha. Your behavior is very strange. Just like all around there is forest fire in a forest. There is all around forest fire, all around. And one elephant is very clever, going to go to a go to deep water in a water, you know, pond, and feel it comfort all around. Fire, but inside the elephant is very nice. Because elephant very clever. So I think you are also like that. How possible all around this material world is forest fire. Mahaprabhu told, na, cheto darpanam arjanam, bhavo mahadabagni nirvapanam, but how is possible that you are taking very tranquil, very peaceful, you are feeling comfortable? The reason I like to know. I looked, I like to know the reason. This way, how you are concentrating in yourself. How you are going to concentrate only in yourself. We are going to concentrate on all isolated matters. All isolated things. Our mind totally going this way, this way, so many scattered, isolated. 
it is not complete. To do bhajan of that absolute truth, who is absolute, who is akhanda tattva, undiv un undividable tattva. So if I'm going to apply my divided brain, if I'm going to apply my divided brain, I divide my brain, something here, something there, then how I can do the bhajan of that complete? My mind is not complete, it's scattered. To do bhajan of that absolute, to do bhajan of that, you know, that tattva, I must try, I must try my best under the guidance of pure Guru Vishnu. Same thing, only and only pure Guru Vishnu can save you, no father can save even Bhagavan cannot save you. Because Bhagavan can, Bhagavan is doing, giving kripa through bhakta. Bhagavan cannot come directly, na? Bhagavan cannot, that's why in Kirtan we know, Vaishnavero Avedane Krishna Dayamoy Ehano Pamor Pati Hoi Venshad. In Kirtan it is written. When I am going to speak all about my uh, painful experience, then Vaishnav Thakur can pray to Bhagavan because my application cannot reach up to Bhagavan. They can pray for me, then Bhagavan can hear. Follow. Then Bhagavan can hear. Gajendra was almost successful in his bhajan, previous life. Almost successful, but he was, finally he was bound to fall down. Now when he could discover, nobody can save me, nothing. I am totally helpless. Then he could remember that previous life, I was doing some bhajan, doing some japa mantra, so he could remember. Remember, I was speaking just a, a few minutes before. All your realization, all everything material can go vanish. Only your sanskar can give you backing and next life you can do accordingly. Follow. Even in any material knowledge, suppose this life you have done FRCS London, FRCS London on some subject matter, but you cannot remember. Suppose you have done some doctorate or you are a scientist, you have done something. Some sanskar can be there, but you cannot remember. Some sanskar can be there, maybe, because you have done uh, some impression on your sanskar. But it is also not, you know, permanent sanskar. Sanskar means fine body. So it is there. But you cannot remember whole... Uh, you know, whole items, all what, what you all learned before, cannot even. All, but if you are going to take some spiritual lesson from an elevated sadhu, then it can never go in vain. Be careful. If I learn something from Srila Bhakti Pumat Purigashi Maharaj, even a leap body, still I cannot live. Because I learned from my heart. It is there in my sanskar, permanent sanskar. Not temporary. So all around fire, and that I already told, Gajendo suddenly remember that my previous life, I, I got some mantra, I was doing japa of that mantra. That's why in Bhagavatam it is written, the Gajendo started doing japa, elephant. That elephant starting, started doing japa of some mantra which already done before. Not one case. I can speak so many cases. Like in Bakura, I can speak after not at so many confusion. One elephant. He was one landlord, big. He committed aparad unto Alvarajya Vaishnava. He became elephant. Mad elephant. How he was delivered, that elephant was delivered by Rashikananda Prabhu. By Rashikananda Prabhu, how he was there, I can speak someday. Not at a time, we can do. So, in Bhagavatam it is written, Jajapa Paramam Japyam Praga Janmanu Shikshitam. Jajapa Paramam Japyam, he started doing japa of that mantra. Because from previous sanskar, previous life, he remembered. Jajaka, Jajapa Paramam Japyam. 
Praga Janmanu Sikshitam. Previous I will learn. So now, nobody can save us except Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. <coughs> now, Jodhu is going to put question this way. Tvanghi na prichatam brahmanyatmani ananda karanam bruhi sparso vihinasya bhavataha kevalatmanaha. Tvanghi na prichatam brahmanyatmani ananda karanam. What is the reason that for why you are feeling enjoyment inside her? Where from? What is the source? What is the source of your enjoyment? What is the source of your enjoyment? You are feeling enjoyment inside. Eh? You are in finding enjoyment. We are finding enjoyment outside. We are finding enjoyment outside. No, here enjoyment, here enjoyment. But one realized soul is going to find enjoyment inside heart. Because enjoyment is already there inside heart. Only we will have to discover. Only you will have to discover enjoyment already there, but you are searching like a madman. I can speak this example maybe tomorrow. One deer, when develop one kasturi, you know, very nice smell. Those are deer, they develop one kind of you know, scent, very nice scent here, a navel portion. You know, na? navel portion there, one deer. The deer running here and there, where from that nice, nice smell coming. But no idea that from your navel portion there is one thing is called kasturi. Kasturi, special, very, very costly. If you go to buy one kasturi, very costly. Then if you put in one place, you can say, all around, very nice smell, kasturi. Follow? Now you understand. The smell coming from naval portion of that deer, but the deer have no idea about the whereabout, about the whereabout that, that smell. They're running here and there. Similarly, human being, Always try to reach the complete position. That's why more enjoyment, more enjoyment, more money, more money. Because they always like to reach the saturation point. That's why they want more and more. But they don't know this way in, within infinity period, you can never reach saturation point. You can never reach saturation point. This way you can cut. Only if you are going to Submit unto the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, who is uh, Purna Vastu, then is possible. So, Jadu Maharaj wanted to know where from you are getting enjoyment. But externally you are going to avoid everything. But where from you are getting enjoyment? I have to know that. Then, Bhagavan speaking to, now Bhagavan speaking, na, to Uddhav, na. Bhagavan giving the teachings to Uddhav. So Bhagavan is going to start with this point, very basic point, so that we can realize very easily. Then Bhagavan watcha, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav, Jadu naiva mahabhago brahman ne na sumedhasa prishtaha savayetaha praho prasraya banatam dijaha. Very with very humble mood. Jadu Maharaj is devotee anyway, so humble mood is quite natural. With humble mood, Jadu Naivo, Mahabhaga, Jadu is given so many titles. So many titles. Bhagavatama, Mahabhagavat, this, that. Mahabhaga. Mahabhaga means Mahabhaga means Mahabhagavat. Mahabhaga means Mahabhaga means Mahabhagavat. So, this way, when this kind of question was, was put in front of that Paramamsa, I mean that Abadhut, that Abadhut, then Abadhut, Abadhut usually not speaking, nobody knows. 
even people don't know that he can speak. Because nobody is speaking, no? People are giving their donation something, chapati, this, that. But they do have no idea that the man can speak. He is acting like dumb and deaf. People speaking so many things, he is not hearing. He is keeping silent. But come on, when Jodhu is speaking, then he could realize he is a devotee. To talk with a devotee is the highest benefit. To talk with a devotee is the highest That's why he started speaking. Otherwise, usually not speaking. So, Jodhu Naiva Mahabhago Brahma Nena Sumayadhosa Prishtaha Savayitaha Praho Pasrayavadam Pasrayavanatam Dijaha So, this way, Bhagavan Bhullin say that Mahabhaga Mahabhaga Brahman that Mahabhaga Brahman Brahman Bhakto both Mahabhag. Actually, Jodhu is also Mahabhag. And that Brahman is also Mahabhag because he is Tattabit. Here, this Mahabhag, this title is spoken for that, but Abadhut. But anyway, when Bhagavad and Bhagavan, Sam, going to confirm that Jodhu is a great devotee, he is also Mahabhagavad. Mahabhag. So, being be, being asked by being asked by being asked by yadu then that brahman mahabhag started speaking started speaking you know with you know because those who are tattvabit they can give tattva jnana to you, provided you are going to fulfill three conditions. Here it is written, because Jadu Maharaj was very humble. He was, he was not ready to pu put question in front of that Abhadud with challenging mood. Jadu Maharaj was not ready to put question in front of that you know, Abhadud with challenging mood. But he was humble. Could you please take why? So, he was very much interested to give answer. Now, that Brahman, I mean that Avadut uh, speaking, that in my life, so many Guru, in my life, I have so many Guru, so many Guru. We heard that one Guru, or maybe Shiksha Guru, yes, Shiksha Guru, Shiksha Guru can be so many. Like you are my Shiksha Guru, so Shiksha Guru can be so many. Diksha Guru, man. Diksha Guru one and single. So, say Brahman Vacha, Shanti me Guru Rajan, Bahobo Buddhi Pasrita, Yatu Buddhim Padayo, Muktam Atami Iho Tanu Seno. How I am traveling this whole, how I am traveling this world, I mean, traveling Medini, I am traveling here and there. With what mood? You know, because I am going to collect different kind of knowledge from different places. Different kind of knowledge is from different places I am going to learn. From snack, actually Jodhu not speaking, I am speaking to you now. I learned something from snack. What I learned? I learned that if I if I am going to make friendship with snack, snack can simply bite me. If I give banana, if I give banana and milk, everything. If I give banana, milk, everything to snack, the snack can come and simply can increase the poison, amount of poison. He has some amount of poison no, inside. So, if I am going to provide milk and banana, simply I am going to uh, give some, uh, you know, protection. So that, that the snack can protect, present, present poison and can increase poison. So I learned that if, you know, if I am going to make friendship, that is very dangerous. What I mean to say, a man, Maybe in the guise of devotee. 
I know his heart is very poisonous. Association is the vital thing. If whole life you are foolish, if whole life you are foolish, number one, idiot, then who can guide you? Association is a vital thing. Association can give you bumper success and association can make you fall down. It depends upon. Association is a very, very important thing. <laughs> so Chanakya Pandit is also writing that one should not make friendship with such a man whose heart is very poisonous. Should not make. If you're going to make friendship, someday you can bite and you can die. This way, so many learning you can get, so many things. So, that Brahman now speaking, so many guru I make in my life, from different, 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 different source, I collect my life, and finally, I wanted to reconcile all the teachings from uh, what I all received from different gurus. I reconcile, I find saturation point. I reconcile and finally I find saturation point. That's why no disturbance going to put me in trouble. That is why I am satisfied. Now, gradually our that Brahman can speak who all are, who all are the guru of that Avadhut. I can discuss from tomorrow this from earth, earth means prithivi. This, I art something from, I learned something from prithivi. This word, I learned something from bayu, wind. I, earn, I learned something from space. You know, I learned something from fire. I learned something from chandrama. I learned something from sun god. I learned something from prison, prison, one part. Prison, you know, you go through dictionary. <laughs> prison, one kind of bird. Some, some people, they are, you know, buying from and they are uh, flying in the sky. And, uh, some rich man, they are, uh, uh, say bird, you know, a special bird. It's called prison. I learned something from python, I learned something from ocean, I learned something from insect who is going to jump into fire, I learned something from honeybees, I learned something about elephant, I learned something from deer, I learned something from, from fish, I learned something from pros, pingola. This way I can speak to you so many 24 different kinds of gurus and is going to collect all knowledge and going to harmonize and going to feel saturated point, no problem. So I can go on discussing of this point, please excuse me. And so many things I could not discuss today, I for, you know, tomorrow, if I can remember, I like to discuss. So, so the sloka I started with, Labdha sudurlava midam bahu shambhavante manusyam arthada manittam api hadiyuha turnam jatetho na patetho anumittu javad nishyo saiva khalu na nishyo saiva khalu hu vishaha sarvatoho shat vishaya sarvatoho shat vanchakalpatru ushya kipasindvi patitanak pavanibha vishnam pyurna